what's up guys so this is my first run slash workout in about a week <laughs> because I was sick before so that's why there's no workout Wednesday video but if you already saw my other videos then you probably already know that but I actually felt surprisingly good so I actually went on one of my uh, more ambitious routes and uh, went up the very few very small hills that Brockport has to offer but I went up them nonetheless and I actually felt pretty good I was surprised actually uh, my lifting actually was pretty good, so you guys will see that in a sec. Um, my drills, my strides, everything felt pretty good. I was I was pretty surprised was with my uh, first week back. But, I mean, you know, you, I, you don't really lose that much in a week off. Um, and, I mean, I'm, I'm like, uh, uh, like 12 or 13 weeks or something. I should probably know this while I'm making videos. But I'm, I'm like about almost three months away from my race, so I got three months before I got to be fast. And good news, by the way, my sister brought up my spikes, so I can actually wear those, and I'll hopefully be wearing those in a workout relatively soon. Uh, the last time I actually wore those spikes was right on this very track. This was the track that I ran my uh, 221 Blazing Fast 800. Uh, that, was my, uh, that was my last actual race, I guess you could say, that I ran, and I ran in those spikes. And um, that was when we knew something was going wrong. Like, we didn't know... I'd never heard about CIDP, and, uh, you know, I think I mentioned before, when you're 19 years old, you're pretty much invincible. You know, you really don't think about getting some chronic uh, neurological disease. You're just thinking, oh, maybe I have some sort of, uh, I don't know, like anemia or mono or, you know, just something pretty normal going on. But uh, apparently it wasn't. It was uh, CIDP. So, uh, yeah, this is the very track that I was on when that happened. And, uh, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Surprise, surprise, I'm squatting again. Uh, you know, I really don't think that you have to do different workouts all the time. I just personally like to change up what I'm doing uh, for more of like a mental thing. Like right now, what I'm working on is just not pausing for very long at the top and going down to 90 degrees or slightly below. That's what I'm really focusing on. Uh, but, you know, if I do switch up to like the leg press or something, it's not really for any sort of... Uh, actual scientific reason it's because I don't want to get bored or someone's using the squat rack and that's pretty much it um, you know power lifters do the same three movements all the time bench squat and deadlift and they're improving all the time sure they do extra things or they may switch things up just uh, you know to not be too monotonous and that's exactly what I do if I switch things up it's for that reason but your body's not gonna be like oh I did deadlifts today so I'm expecting to do deadlifts tomorrow and then you do CD cable rolls, your body's not going to be like, what is going on? Oh my god, I'm going to build so much more muscle now. No, it's it doesn't really work like that. A lot of people think that, but it's a myth. So uh, if you really like doing the same exercises, just try to do more every time. Just try to do more weight. And uh, you'll see right there, I went from using the 35-pound plates to a 25 and a 10. And you'll see why in a second, because my form just went to shit because I was pretty tired. So what I'm doing right now is called a drop set. So that's basically where once you get tired, instead of stopping uh, stopping that and that being like the last set, you just take a little bit of weight off and you keep going. And I really like drop sets because the weight actually feels lighter, but it still feels difficult. It's, uh, it's hard to explain unless you actually do it. Uh, but as you can see with calf raises, I'm actually doing more. So as I mentioned in one of my other videos, that's how I know that I'm still getting better. Uh, even though I'm not getting treatment because last week I did 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. Now I'm doing 10 pounds, 25, 35 pounds. So uh, it's all getting it's all getting better. It's all improving. And so uh, you can see my other leg that's not even lifting is shaking because of how difficult it is. So it's not easy, but I'm at least able to do it. I would also like to point out that I did an extra set. Not only have I increased weight, but I also increased the set. So things are without a doubt improving. So that's always awesome. Uh, here I am using the military press, military pressing almost as much as I squat, uh, but I guess, you know, it kind of makes sense because my upper body has progressed a lot quicker than my lower body, uh, but I had a lot less damage in my upper body, so, you know, it, it really makes sense. But that's it for the video because my camera died because I failed to bring an extra battery, so I wish I could have recorded the rest of the workout for you guys. I pretty much just did an ab routine after that. I used the ab coaster machine thing. I'll show you guys in that uh, the next workout Wednesday, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys then.